Sports Center. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Cardinals come away with a seven-point win. The 49ers won this contest and will now move to third place in the NFC West. Number 84 had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Manning rushed for two touchdowns and helped his Vikings beat the Seahawks. Up in the Windy City of Chicago, we had the Bears lose by six points. Up at Giant Stadium, we had the Jets come away with a two-point nail-biting win. Buccaneers, Dolphins. Miles is in his own territory, but he's got a lot of room to run. We know about his speed. There's a couple of moves. Oh, boy! The defense overlooked him. He could go all the way. 76-yard touchdown. The Buccaneers go on to win this by the final score of 24 to 21. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Giants pick up win number seven. The Broncos' defense came away with five turnovers in their victory at Invesco Field at Mile High. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Parsons will be on the move. You see it there. He'll be getting a nice little payday, too. Four years, $5.0 million. Brian will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Patriots. Collier is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Three years, $4.7 million. Parks got snatched up as well, and he signs a two-year contract with the Panthers. The Bills won on the road and will now head home to meet the Falcons. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Mathis won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. A hairline fracture of the arm is the initial report, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Chris Jenkins will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Now, on to even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Bradley had to be placed on injured reserve, so he'll be on the sidelines for the rest of the year. Just a key blow to the heart of his defense. Now the big story of the day. Howell is going to find himself on the shelf, and that will be a major blow to his team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. The Colts won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC South. Todd Pinkston had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. We had a big trade also of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? Over now to news of a trade that might have some ramifications. Wilson leaves the Raiders and heads to the Falcons. And he's a smart enough player that he should have no trouble adapting to his new line mates. In exchange, they'll get someone to beef up their roster. Hoffman ought to be a good addition up front, as he'll add a little muscle to an offensive line that could certainly use it. Moreno pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Packers beat the Lions. And in our final game, we had the Browns come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.